Hello, I had a question from Anton about uh, compass and straight edge and Pythagorean music. And um, I wish you like the, uh, the perfect fifth and the perfect fourth, but where is that working? Okay, so you have, uh, now music's not my best topic. I'm more into the geometry, astronomy and, and math side of things, but you look into one, you look into the other. And so what you have is the, uh, okay, let's say we've, we are main screen, so you have C. Uh, now there's a lot of info out there about what is the perfect tuning scale, but let's just say, so we have uh, 256 hertz, C, uh, G, so in this like idealized Pythagorean, then we have G192, and then D is 288 my favorite number there uh we have a is 432 so that's where you get that 432 versus 440 uh debate going on am i in screen yep and then we have e that's uh 324 and then we have b is 846 now i'm in screen okay now we also have the perfect fifth which is a uh, two to three or free to just scale. Okay, so 256 to 192, that is a free to two scale. Then we have 192 to 288 is a two to three. So if I divide that by two, I get, um, what's that, uh, 96, and I multiply 96 by three, I get 288. Okay, and then we have uh, 288 is a 2 to 3 scale, so one, what, 288 divided by 2 is 144, 144 multiplied by 3 we get 432, and now we have a 3 to 2 scale and a 3 to 2 scale, but all of them are at this 2 to 3, 3 to 2 scale, so that's the 5th. Then we also have what's they call the perfect 4th, which is a 3 to 4 scale. Uh, and also you have an octave, so that's like this Pythagorean. So for instance, it's a two to war or one to two, depending. But so if you get a piece of string, like a, a guitar string, you pluck it. Then if you put your finger halfway along, so you halve the the the, the string, you get the a, a difference of the octave there. So we have like one to two, two to three, and three to four. Uh, now you could also do it with the tetractus. This Pythagorean symbol, which is a one to two scale, and then a two to three, so one to two, then we have a two to three, two, three, and then we have a three to four, which you can draw by. Okay, but he was asking me about the compass and straight edge and the uh, how to do, yeah, to get these. So it's it's the Vesica, really, the easiest way. Um, now, again, music's not my top subject, but so at least in this simple form, we begin with a compass and straight, so with a straight edge, we do a construction line. And this, then we have a Vesica, which is such a potent tool for measurement systems and Pythagorean, um, not just Pythagorean tuning, but also the three, four, five triangle, but Okay, so a construction line, we draw the vesica. Without changing the compass, we put the edge on there. Okay, and so I'll do the full drawing. Because um, I've done this before on, on a longer video, but I'm not exactly sure where, so I thought I'd just... Now we draw that line there, we need that to create some construction points. So now we haven't changed the compass. Put it there on the center and we mark the top there and the bottom come to the edge because i now want to create a rectangle around this so i'm just going to draw an arc there arc at the top and i'll do the same on the other side now i need to adjust the compass to so put the point in the center and we adjust it to the edge. Okay, so now go to the top. I can mark that. 
mark that to the bottom of the camera. Yep, okay, we mark that. We mark that, and now we have. Okay, now I'll go back to the beginning. So, set the compass just to show what I mean. So, now the compass is the original setting. So, now we see that the vesica is one, two, three wide, and it is one, two high. So, a three to two. So, we have now the fifth which describes these musical... Now, all these numbers in geometry are just awesome as well. So now we have all the points we need to draw a, a rectangle around the vesica. And again, this vesica has the square root of three. It's, there's so much information in, in, in here, but I'm just... Okay, so but just for a compass and straight edge construction, that would lead to the perfect fourth, the fifth, and... Um, even octaves. So now we have this rectangle based on the vesica. It's at a one, two to one, two, three ratio. So we have a two to three thing happening here. Now if I was to So now I have a, a rectangle, so I've just used already those natural construction points in there. So what I've done is now we've halved the width of it, so now this rectangle, I'll just highlight it. Okay, so this rectangle now has a ratio of four to three, four to three. That's, uh, correct, yep. Okay, so that's now a four to three ratio, so we have the perfect fourth. Now, this rectangle in here also has a two to three ratio. So there, now, the orange highlighted one is a four to three, and then half of that is a two to three. So you have a improper proportion. So not just the ratio, now they're in scale to one another. So you have two to three, the fifth, and we also have four to three, the fourth. But also we have a two to one ratio going on in there as well. Um, you have the bronze, silver and golden ratios can be constructed from here as well. So I was going to try to answer it in a written description in the comment. So I'll post this under there to Anton was asking the question. But yeah, we have one to two, two to three and three to four. And OK, well, I'm here. OK, might as well do that. There. So we have this to track this now. Uh, that's not directly connects to the question but there's a using again the same geometry based on the, the vesica and then we can create uh, the seed of life and from there we can get a good we can also do a tractus, which is another representation of that same system of info so this time I'm going to do a vesica but I'm going to do it uh, vertically I think I'm doing it right. Okay, so now, but now I'm going to extend it one more circle down. And now we have one, two, three, four intersection points where we can draw a circle. Now we have what's referred to as the seed of life. If you draw it perfectly, they're going to draw the corners will be exact. So I'm just because I'm rushing it, there's a slight uh, misstep there. And one more. So there we have now the seed of life. Okay, so if I had drawn it properly and taken my time, that would have all been, per, per, it would actually fit perfect. So what you also have is a, a hexagon, a whole system of equilateral triangles. But if I've done it correct, one. Okay, so that should be one, two, Okay, what I need to do is extend it. 
think I've made a motto, a motto of it, at least you get the, the play around a bit with it. So now that will be one, two, three. Just a bit camera. I know there's a better way. Okay, I've, I've also drawn the, the the tree of life using this construction as well. So if I do. I know there's a much better way of doing it, I've just, just decided to do this at the last second and there's a more elegant way of drawing it, but this is one way. And again, if I take more time, all these lines would match up perfectly. And uh, okay, I'll do one more. Okay, I've t totally overcomplicated it because you don't need all to extend these circles all the way out as far as I've gone. But now we will have one, two, three, and four. So we have the tetractus, which is one to two, then the octave, one to two, two to three is the fifth, and we have one, two, three to one, two, three, four, so three to four. And this is a one of the Pythagorean um, symbols in there and while I'm here I might as well show it as well we have the uh, basics of the tree of life So have your your basics there of the of the tree of life in that same design. Sorry, I went a little bit off topic there, and I know you, you can do a tractus much simpler than that. But yeah, I just wasn't thinking about it before I started doing it. But back to that original with the vesica, where the whole it's a two to three to begin with, but then you can break it down, and so we have a three to four, and then we have a two to so this four to three, and the two to three are in relationship to one another, and you also have the one to two and the octaves, which goes to these um, Pythagorean tuning. Now, there's more to music, um, again, it's not my best topic, but at least just for your fifths and your fourths and your octaves, uh, this is a great way to do it. So you also have whole tone, major tones, which are at a, uh, eight to nine, and a uh, 10 to 9 ratio but well do you just so three and then you could just you know square it and you have three okay where is it okay so for instance that's three so now we have six and if i was just to extend that line out i would now have a nine And we have a four, so four. And then we have a three, that would be uh, seven. And, and then if I just add another three to the top of that, so I'm not gonna be, so this now would be a nine to 10. Very, I uh, would have had to have drawn this smaller to fit that in. But there's at least the basic principles of music theory, Pythagorean theory, and of course, three, four, five triangle, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Because we have a four to three, therefore this diagonal is a three, four, five triangle as well. So it's like, you know, yeah, just with this uh, Pythagorean schools, which of course come from earlier civilizations. I hope that goes some way to answering the questions anyway, these basics, sorry again, I was just rather than try and type it up in the comments, I thought just to quickly show it. I know it's in some videos somewhere where a bit more neater, but I hope that answers your questions, Anton. Cheers.